And welcome back. I'm here with Bobby Carney with Life Share Blood Center to tell us about an event that's coming up to help raise uh, the blood the blood supply here in Washita Parish in Northeast Louisiana. Thank you so much, Bobby, for joining us. Well, thank you guys for having us. I appreciate it. What's going to be happening at the Friends and Family event? Well, you're right. We're having a Friends and Family event at our uh, center on 2909 Kilpatrick, and we're also doing it at the mall. Uh, at, uh, at Kilpatrick, we're there from 9 to 3, and at the mall, we'll be there from 11 to 6. Uh, Central Link partnered with us, and, uh, and uh, we've got that location there in the mall, so we'll be there for y'all when you want to donate and help us save some lives this holiday season. Are you having the event because the supply is low right now during That's, the holidays? Uh, you're 100 percent correct. Uh, during the holidays, during the summer months, we always see a decline in donations, but an increase in need. Uh, and I don't think folks realize that uh, just one transplant patient could wipe us out. A mm -hmm. uh, liver transplant could easily take 100 to 150 units, and we may draw 50 a day. So, uh, and of course, folks have more accidents this time of year, so there's much more need for that blood than, than, uh, than usual. You, I do notice a lot of car accidents this yes. time of the year. Yes, the worse the weather, the worse the driver, it seems like. So, uh, yeah, we definitely see a lot of that uh, in our area hospitals. And you may not know this, but uh, this center here, our region, we support uh, roughly 31 to 33 hospitals. We're in 22 parishes and counties in uh, northeast, or correction, uh, northeast Louisiana and southeast Arkansas. So we're kind of all over the place, but uh, those hospitals are always in desperate need for blood. Is there a certain type of blood that you need the most? Well, sure. O negative, of course, is probably the most important because if something happens to you and you can't uh, tell them what your blood type, is uh, they're going to push the O negative. It's the universal donor. So mm -hmm. that is definitely the preferred blood type. Any myths that you would like to debunk about giving blood? Well, it's a completely safe method. Uh, we're, we're, we're controlled by the FDA, or regulated by the FDA, rather. Uh, it's completely safe. Um, a lot of folks tell us that they're afraid of needles. Um, uh, you know, and it's usually big guys with tattoos, uh, which is funny to me. But uh, you know, <laughs> you know, I will tell you that the blood that you res that you give, uh, t uh, like for instance, if you gave it today, it takes two days to process it and get it to a hospital. That's going to go directly to a patient. And when we use it, you're going to get a phone call saying, "Hey, thank you for donating donating blood. You've just helped to save a life." And so it's a pretty cool thing. But uh, there are no real myths. Uh, you know, it's completely safe. You're not going to get sick uh, or anything of that nature. We're, you know, we're not going to let you pass out or mm -hmm. whatnot. It's it's going to be completely safe, controlled. Well, for those of us who want to come out and give blood and help, what do we need to know before heading up to the Life Share Blood Center or the mall? Sure. Uh, if you're on antibiotics, unfortunately, uh, you, you can't donate. Uh, you have to wait about two weeks after you're off antibiotics. If you're on blood thinners, uh, you can't donate. Um, you need to be at least 110 pounds. Uh, and, you know, there's certain blood type disorders, obviously, like hepatitis and, of course, HIV uh, that uh, preclude you from donating. But if you've been in countries such as uh, their malaria zones, maybe Honduras or one of those countries, um, I I don't know if it's top of my head the list, but uh, that'll preclude you from donating for a year. Um, you can actually, there is a myth actually, I should go back, uh, tattoos, folks think if you can get, get a tattoo, you can't donate for a year, but that's not true anymore. You can actually donate same day as long as it's in a state regulated facility. In other words, uh, you know, they're a licensed facility, so to speak. Uh, so you can donate then, but uh, uh, always uh, make sure you get something to eat, a good meal before you eat. Uh, we go to a lot of high schools and a lot of these kids eat and they think a Pop-Tart's a meal. Now they need an actual meal. So about 20 minutes before, that would, that would help reduce the chances of having a reaction. Okay, what are the times tomorrow? Uh, great. So again, we'll be at the center from uh, uh, 9 to 3 tomorrow morning at uh, 2909 Kilpatrick and from 11 to 6 at Pecan Land Mall. Um, and so we'll be there. And you can also go to lifeshare.org and um, and you can actually schedule an appointment right there. All right, Bobby, thank you so much for coming thank on the you. show. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.